Hey guys, it's Jessica, the other half of Jessica and Cody, with my hood on. I feel very Anakin Skywalker Sith Lordy. If you can't tell, it um, actually says Call of Duty on it, so I'm not really a Sith Lord. Don't worry. Or am I? Hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm really not. Um, so this lovely... Friday morning. I had to think about it for a second. Um, I'm going to be watching Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt Season 1, Episode 1. Um, I have never seen this show at all. Um, my boyfriend Tyler has watched it and he really loves it and thinks it's hilarious. Um, I just have never gotten around to watching it. So I thought, what the heck, um... It looks fun, and the episodes look interesting, so I'll give it a go, and I'll, this is going to be my first catch-up series. Um, no idea if there's a season three coming out. There probably is, because of how popular it is on Netflix and whatnot. Um, so I will try to do at least one episode a week, maybe two, depending on how free my time is. And I hope you guys enjoy this. And Merry Christmas, sisters. Just beautiful, Sister Kimmy. Now, which one of you guys have been chosen as my secret Santa? We have can't not tell, Sister Kimmy. Then twouldn't be a secret, duh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apocalypse, apocalypse. Why do I we remember this Christmas song? Uh, oh no! Oh no! Fire monsters! Kimmy, I think we counted wrong. It's not Christmas, but it's here. It's all still here. A miracle today in Durnsville, Indiana. Four women rescued from an underground apocalypse cult allegedly run by self proclaimed the Messiah, Reverend Richard Wayne Gary Wayne best known to Yelp users in this area. As Durnsville's worst wedding DJ, I am now joined by a neighbor who watched all the drama unfold, Walter Bankston. Mr. Bankston? Oh, yeah, yeah. What had happened was, I was outside talking about times with my grandson when out of nowhere, 400 police vehicles came walking. They went busting up in that weird old white dude's house. He had a cult up in there. White dudes hold the record for creepy crimes, but he Stop! Pull over, please. Kimmy, what are you doing? I'm not going back. What? I'm staying here. Kimmy, that's crazy. You have a middle school education. You won't make it here. It's like Reverend Richard always says, we're just garbage, Kimmy. That's not true. We're not garbage. We're human beings. I have to get my life back. Everybody in Dornsville is always going to look at me like I'm a victim, and that's not what I am. Well, if you're really gonna do this, take some of my MoFun money. I mean, a pop here's like five dollars. Also, I'm your secret Santa. Adios. What is it, Lillian? Who is this? I'm your new roommate. Okay, so Lillian, soon I'm to my ad out. You need I don't a make roommate. noise. I, I don't miss drive. fish. Honey, you also don't pay the rent. Because I don't have money. You know I do not want to evict you. Just consider her, please. What is your current address? Next question. May I see a recent letter of employment or two recent pay stumps? No and no. Where do you work? Nowhere yet. I pronounce you ridiculous. Come back when you got a J-O-B! He's right. I am gonna need a job. Honey, you come back here with a job, the place is yours. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, but don't wear that yellow sweater, because the Crips will think you're in the Banana Boys. It's a new gang. There weren't any good colors. 
hours left. Nice to meet you. You'll need to be here by 6 every morning to get Buckley up for school. Then get me up at 10, but don't wake me up. Can I just say how grateful I am for this opportunity? I'm sorry. What is your name? Oh, it's Kimmy. Kimmy. Are you good at braiding hair? I'm awesome at it. Fantastic. Of course, you'll have to meet the horses first. Do you want a water? No, thanks. Okay. This is Charles. He's a tutor. He'll help you do Buckley's homework. Also, it's Buckley's birthday tomorrow, so you'll need to make a cake that's cute, but also paleo. Swedish, 90 minutes, medium pressure. I'm going to bed. What in the ham sandwich? I just got a job. Please tell me that you're normal. I, I need someone here to talk to. Oh, I'm very normal. I've had everything normal happen to me. What? Lillian, why is my doll furniture on the curb? Because it's all I could carry. Tomorrow, real movers come, Titus, yeah, and you How dare you? No, I love you. Lillian, I helped you take I got a shower once. Hey, guys. Oh, weirdo. I got a job. It pays $17 an hour under the tables, but I can pay in advance right now with my tax refund. Oh, I can have his things out by tonight. Uh, <clears throat> Lillian, I have decided I will be taking a roommate. Oh, you have decided, have you? Yes, well, I've decided. I have been thinking about this. I would rather live with Actually, so I would rather live with someone. I'm kind of used to having roommates. Okay. Shop proof. You'll be staying in my office. Huh. I will be very comfortable in here. It's like two Cindy's by a Gretchen. <gasps> a window. My she own is window. So adorable. <gasps> and it has this. Where's the rest of your stuff? Oh, this is it. You got a secret. What? You moved to New York City today with a bag full of cash, no stuff, and what is clearly a wig. Somebody in here got beans. Spill them. Okay. Well, the truth is, I'm from Indiana. Oh, okay. That explains why you're so basic. Send I'm so sorry. I was up all night. All my money got stolen, and I haven't had a clock since my Tamagotchi died. Uh-uh. This is strike three. Four strikes, one and two. Has baseball changed? What? I can't do this. Reverend Richard was right. Wait, who? Reverend Richard Wayne Gary Wayne, senior prophet and CFO of Savior Rick Spooky Church of the Scary Apocalypse. Fool? I am one of the Indiana Mole women. From the news. Why didn't you tell me? Because I just want to be a normal person, and I can't. I don't know anything. I can't tell phones from cameras. Even policemen have tattoos. Pack up your trifles and what dots. What? Get your things and go home. New York City is not for you. Uh, you don't understand. Oh, I do understand. But Titus... Girl, my name is not Titus. My name is Ronald Wilkerson. I came here in 1998 on a damn bus from Chickasaw County, Mississippi. You know who leaves Chickasaw County? Nobody. Have you ever met a person from Mississippi? No. But I haven't met anybody. My point is... This was me then. I was cute, just like you. Showed my teeth when I smiled, just like you. I changed my name to Titus Andromedon, and I marched myself into audition for The Lion King. You were in The Lion King on Broadway? Yes, except I was not. I auditioned for The Lion King 20 times in 15 years until they finally told me you were not passing as a straight giraffe. But you are such a good singer. I heard you. I have not sung in public in three years. You want to know what I do now? I dress up in that robot costume in Times Square and I pass out flyers for an arcade. My boss is 17 years old. I get paid in quarters and I'm starting to think cab drivers are hitting me on purpose. Well, you got out of Mississippi. Escaping is not the same as making it, Kimmy. Oh, Cindy. I was talking to my good friend, God, earlier. We were talking about why he allowed his creation to be destroyed. The earth of the land and all the fowls of the air and the sea monkeys of the sea. And do you know what he hath told me? That we're all dumb and bad, and that's why he let the world be destroyed? That's exactly right, Sister Gretchen. Reverend Richard, I was wondering, the whole world was destroyed and everything died, right? Except for all you dum-dums here, yes. Then how come, when I was cleaning out the air filter earlier, I found this! Oh, if all the animals are dead, where'd this 
rat come from? Damn you, Kimmy Schmidt! I will break you! No, you won't. What are you doing here, Amelia Bedelia? I told you to go back to Indiana. I'm not going back. I'm not going to give up, and neither are you. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me from what? The worst thing that ever happened to me happened in my own front yard. Life beats you up, Titus. It doesn't matter if you get taken by a cult or you've been rejected over and over again at auditions. Some of which you pay to attend. You can either curl up in a ball and die like we thought Cindy did that time, or you can stand up and say, we're different. We're the strong ones, and you can't break us. We are going to pay the rent, I'm going to get my job back, and I'm going to kiss a boy. And you are going to sing at the Grammys with Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson. Bad examples, but yes. Unbreakable. It's a miracle. Unbreakable. Dun, dun. Magic costume change. Just kidding, I have to uh, actually go to work in like 30 minutes, so ta -da! this is my work outfit. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction of Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt Season 1, Episode 1. Um, it's hilarious. Kimmy is my favorite character. Um, Titus and that... I don't know her name, Lillian, I believe. They are so funny. I love them so much. Um, their banter back and forth is just amazing. Um, the tutor guy, I don't know if we actually see him again or not, but he had like a really funny one-liner. Um, this show looks fantastic, and I cannot wait to watch more of it and react with it. I hope you guys enjoy seeing that. Um, I will have all of my social media down below. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below if you enjoyed my reaction. And if you liked the show, because it's hilarious, come on. Um, subscribe to my channel, and I will be back here with more videos for you guys soon. Bye!